best closet things at the same time. There's a cat outside my window. Weird. That startled me. I'm super duper excited to be filming this video. I have my whole thrift haul of everything I thrifted in January. I know it's way past January now, but now I'm getting around to actually showing it. I didn't end up recording any of the times that I went in thrifting during January because every time was just like, I'm gonna run in real quick and run out. But I still found some things that like I was really excited about. Part of the thrift haul is going to be from my, one of my favorite local stores here in Petal, Mississippi called the Mission Thrift. And then the other part is going to be from Plato's Closet. I went that last weekend in January where they had like the 90% off sale. So I had um, items that were like 70% off all the way up to 90% off like I got some really good deals and I know that some people don't really consider Plato's Closet thrifting because it is a little bit more curated so like it's consignment but it's secondhand shopping so I have my secondhand haul right here with me and I'm going to show you all the awesome pieces I thrifted in January so I just figured since I didn't actually end up doing a thrift with me at any point when I went thrifting in January I was just going to do a huge January combined haul and show you all the awesome things I got because I really love these pieces so let's just get right into that I'm going to start by showing you the pieces and then if you'll stick around to the end I'll do kind of a fashion show the way I would see myself wearing these pieces styling them up so let's hop right into the video stick around to the end so I'll start with what's obviously right here on top I got this beautiful cobalt blue like I don't know if you'd call it a peacoat or a trench coat I wonder if Plato's calls it called it something nope it literally just says JCPenney WO heavy which I'm gonna assume is women's outerwear it is a older JCPenney I don't know exactly what year but I say older because I don't even know where you can go find a JCPenney anymore like to my knowledge everyone in my surrounding area has been out of business for like at least three to five years and um that's that's the interesting thing to me about Plato's Closet is like stuff like this is still in style even though they say you know newer two-ish or less years old but like this is probably a good many years old but it's in great condition very trendy still this color is a very popular color this year jewel tones are very in style very on trend and it's obviously well made to be from jc penny but um this coat is gorgeous in my opinion i actually didn't even originally pick it up because my husband hates it and i was like oh but i think i like it and i decided to spend my money on something different but i went back and got it um because i had to and i got it for like five dollars even though the tag originally says 18. so five dollar beautiful trendy cobalt blue trench whatever coat okay so the next thing i got is this like fully knitted almost a sweater dress but it has a pretty solid like slit in it too so it's definitely meant to be worn over something so I would say like almost long sweater vest kind of thing I have just seen a lot of kind of similar like longer sweater vest type of styles in um, fast fashion and the more trendy kind of things I'll pop up a picture that was um, a Shein ad that I actually had on Facebook that reminded me a lot of this style even though the colors aren't really the same but I, I've been kind of inspired by that, that current trend of the sweater vests and sweater tunic dress whatevers. So I picked this up and I think it's a really nice color. It looks like it'd be really warm. It might not be cold here too much longer, but at least for now I can wear this. So excited about that. Okay, so the whole reason I even wanted to go to Plato's Closet is because I wanted to find a jacket that was like a little thicker that I could um wear whenever it actually was cold if you know it snowed or something because a lot of my jackets are mississippi winter jackets like they're kind of thin and whenever i got back home to decatur i realized like i don't really have a lot of jackets that keep me warm if i am visiting when it's you know 
colder. So I went in really searching for a similar jacket to this. I used to have a really thick, um, almost like military trend style coat that I got for Christmas a couple years back and I genuinely think somebody stole it out of my car one time. <sighs> And I loved that jacket a lot and I miss it a lot. And so I was trying to kind of like recapture the essence of that jacket. And so I found this one. It's um it's almost like puffer coat style. Like it's it's really thick and it's super soft. So it's not like that, that like um the shiny kind of puffer coat material. Why do I not know fabric names right now? But it is super warm. It's got like that fleece fuzzy lining, and then it has like a little bit more extra fuzzy around the collar. And I just really like this color too because this is the same color that my jacket that I lost was. Um, so it reminds me a lot of what I was trying to recapture and it is really nice, obviously. This one was not on sale so it was just straight $14 but for a coat that's this nice and thick and that I could wear when it's genuinely cold, I feel like $14 isn't that bad. So I was excited to find this. Also I really love just the... Um, like the army green color in general. I feel like that's a color that complements me whether or not it's trendy or in style. Like it's pretty classic so I feel like I can keep that reoccurring in my wardrobe really regularly. So another thing I actually really was looking for while we were at Plato's Closet was a velvet skirt. It didn't really make that much of a difference to me what color but I was hoping for like a little bit of a deeper color and I found this like velvet pencil skirt. It is nice it's just a really simple skirt but I feel like velvety materials are very trendy right now and honestly since I live in a place where it's pretty warm I've been wearing skirts pretty regularly through the winter and I don't have a lot of wintery skirts like obviously skirts are more summery so I have a lot of summer style skirts but I was like I really want a skirt that I can wear in the winter which is why I was looking for deeper colored skirts but I found this one and I just think it's really classic chic simple but what I was looking for so I really liked this and it was six dollars I don't think it was on sale but I also don't know that I paid six dollars for it so okay this I picked up kind of on a whim like as we were leaving because it's just cute it feels a lot like my comfy aesthetic it has cute little flowers on it it is originally from Shein and it was three dollars and I'm pretty sure I actually got this half off like I think I paid a dollar fifty for this and it's actually a 2XL, so it's like an oversized boxy crop tee for me. I don't love Shein. I don't love Shein. I don't super support Shein, which is why I don't buy Shein things from Shein on Shein's website. But I'm not super opposed to purchasing Shein products secondhand, especially if I think they're cute. And a lot of times, since they are trendy clothes, I do think they're cute. So I really liked this shirt, and I just think it would be like a nice summer spring shirt, like a comfy lounge shirt. So. I'm excited about this one. Okay, so the last thing I picked up from Plato's Closet, this dress, and this one was $14 originally, but I got it for, I think, like, 5 or $6. And I was debating between getting this, like, more beige oatmeal-colored sweater vest, sweater dress, and the knitted um, green one, because I liked the kind of overall fit and style of this one a little bit more so I was like I'm gonna get that one but then the lady was like hey you've only spent $22 and if you spend $30 then you get $10 off because I have like the rewards membership account or whatever and I was like let me just go get this dress anyway because I liked it I just liked the green one better so I was like eh I tried to go back and forth but I decided to get this one anyway and I love it it is such a like classic looking color and the reason <laughs> Like, it's probably kind of silly now that you're seeing I have two very similar style dresses. Who needs, like, multiple sweater vests or multiple similar style dresses? Me! Me in every color! Because when I like something, I like something hard, and I'm like, I'm going to style the same thing in as many different varieties as I possibly can. But, I had some ideas, because I, I've been really into, like, the, the knitwear kind of style, and, like, knitted skirts or knitted tops. And it just like blew my mind that I kind of recently recalled that I could wear a shirt over a dress to make the dress look like a skirt and vice versa. And this was brought to my attention through various TikToks and style fashion accounts that I follow on Instagram. And I was like, what? 
So like there's this picture that's a, an outfit that I really like on Pinterest. I'll show it here. And I was like, oh, I love this like whole knitted uh, apparel kind of look. Like I really want a knitted skirt. And so I was looking for knitted skirts and you would not believe how hard it is to just find a knitted skirt. Second hand, second hand, um, because I, I try to buy most of my things second hand whenever I can, especially if it's a trendy thing because trends tend to come and go like this. And I'm not trying to spend all my money on, on things that will be out of season within a few months. So I've been really into the knitted skirt outfit and I was like, I could just buy knitted dresses. They're so much easier to buy. So I just thought this was a beautiful color that it would look good obviously as a dress or I could put a different type of skirt over it or use this as a skirt. It would go with a lot of things in my closet. So that's why, that's why I chose them both. Also it's obviously a very different material, very different look. So I was happy to do it. But the funny thing about it is that I went to the Mission Thrift, I think literally the day or like a couple days before I went to Plato's Closet and I bought this dress. I bought, I bought, I bought this dress before I bought either of those two. Is this not just the exact same style kind of thing? And this is the dress I bought when I wanted to recreate that, that Pinterest outfit because the color and kind of like the, the texture of it, like it's a very basic ribbed texture and I was like oh that will be so perfect it's a knitted dress and I I can use it for this this style I'm trying to recreate and then I just got like fixated on it because I do that when I like a thing I have to like the thing as much as I can like the thing until I know more like the thing but now I have this kind of dress in three different colors and styles so like you best believe I'm gonna be showing it off until it's not cold outside anymore isn't this one beautiful though? It has a zipper in the back. Just so nice. It's from She and Sky. I have no idea that brand at all, but it seems nice. Also, I have, I have no clue what the actual prices of the Mission Thrift Store items are because I always turn in my receipts. They do this thing where like you can write your name and number on the back of the receipt and then you could win like a $50 shopping spree at their store. And I don't know how often they like do the drawing, but every time I go, like there's there's the box, and so I always leave my receipt. So I don't know the genuine prices of items exactly, but I do know that I spent $26 at this store. So I don't know. We can just average it out. Okay, next thing, if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen this, you saw that I wore it. I picked up this newspaper printed top dress. I don't know, it has buttons in the back. I would consider it a little bit more of a tunic top because I definitely wouldn't feel comfortable to wear it on its own with nothing underneath it, even like shorts. Um, but it's it's cool. It really caught my eye. It is different, but also kind of in style enough. The kind of things that I like to wear. Like, oh, that's interesting and unique. I saw it and I picked it up because I saw a similar-ish shirt on ThreadUp that I had hearted. And then like the next day I went thrifting because... I got all in the mood to go thrifting, searching on ThreadUp, and I found this shirt, and I was like, wow, that's like so weird, I just was thinking about that, I manifested this shirt, and honestly, I'm going to insert the picture of the one that I hearted, because like, they're not really alike in anything, except for like, the kind of aesthetic of the print, but then I thrifted this, and I brought it home, and I'm not even kidding, like, that week, James Charles posted his picture of him in his like, sweater vest, and like, newspaper print top shirt thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can, I can recreate that style, like, that's, that's a pretty cool outfit, and I have those pieces that I thrifted, oh my goodness. So yeah, um, also this is pretty cool because it has pockets. I'm doing a horrible job of showing you, but look, there's pockets. But yeah, it's, it's a button-up tunic top shirt dress thing. Those are all the words! <laughs> and... Again, if you watch any of my videos or follow me on Instagram or know me at all, you have already seen this item because this is by far the greatest thing I thrifted so far in 2021 and I, I'm probably the most proud of it. So I've, I've shown this already, especially if you watched my January favorites video. So I'll just graze over it quickly, but it is a 100% vintage genuine leather trench coat and it's beautiful and I was so excited to find it. I can't even believe that I found this. Like, goals, dreams come true. 
current style aesthetic 100 so on trend and I got this for $15 from the Mission Thrift. This I do know specifically the price because the tag right here still has $30 written in silver sharpie and I got it for half off so I got it for $15 and it's perfect it has shoulder pads and I love it I wear it a lot I've worn it so much already since I got it in January like green did it's only been a few weeks but still super super excited about this purchase so so now is the time for the fashion show <laughs> I'm going to style up these pieces in the way that I envisioned wearing them, like what I was thinking, this is how I can style up this outfit, or this is what I can pair it with when I bought it, to show you, like, this is the reason I spent money on these things, I guess. I don't know. I'm not trying to justify it or anything, but I do think that it would be more fun to show you how I envisioned these things being on my body. This will be fun. I, I love trying on clothes. I love playing dress up. This is my favorite part of thrifting videos, so let's get right into the fashion show. your favorite piece that I was able to thrift or like just your favorite overall outfit aesthetic from what I put together in my fashion show and let me know if you've thrifted anything cool recently I always love to hear that because I love thrifting and I love the treasure hunt and finding the gems so let me know down below love to hear from you guys and 
otherwise I, I really hope that you enjoyed this video I love filming these types of videos I love to thrift I've always been the kind of person who would go shopping and then you know go into my living room with my mom and be like hey let me show you all the things I got mini fashion show time so like I mentioned earlier this is always my favorite part but thank you so much for sticking around for watching this video if you stuck around here till the end of the video, you are the realest. Thanks so much. My heart goes out to you. You make my soul happy. You make me enjoy doing this. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you would subscribe, spend some more time with me, hang out with me. Make sure to like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot as a creator and just personally, emotionally, it helps my heart. And ring my bell so that you know when I have made a new video. Also, if you would like to see some more of my outfit stylings, OOTDs, feel free to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Emily B. Henry, and I post pretty regularly, so there's some outfit inspiration for you if you ever need it. <laughs> and most of my outfits obviously are thrifted, secondhand, or have been in my closet for a bazillion years because I have a severe attachment to clothes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you again in the future. Bye.